Hi guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. We're gonna do a little night routine. I have a hair serum in my hair right now, so I want to wash my hair. I want to do sauna. I want to take a bath, like face mask, all that. I did want to mention, because I opened up a package earlier with my new shampoo and conditioner by Scene, and I have been aware of this brand for the past year. I worked with an acne specialist back in February of 2023 and she recommended these products to me i have used them before i've also used other products by this brand and scene is founded by a harvard trained dermatologist and what is amazing about these products is that they're non-comedogenic they're safe for acne prone skin because whether you realize it or not once you wash your hair and when you take a shower the products you use actually do stay on your body for hours after that and I was finding in the past with products that I was using on my hair, I was noticing I was getting breakouts on my shoulders and my back. It is super important to be using products that are safe for acne prone skin that are non-comedogenic and seen is amazing because it is safe for all hair types. It's made for everybody and I love the way it makes my hair feel. It just makes it feel so soft and clean and silky. So I'm super excited to finally wash my hair. It's been a couple of days and like I said, I have a serum in it right now and I'm excited to take like an everything shower tonight and wash my hair. And I like being able to know that the products that I'm using aren't clogging my pores and they're non-comedogenic. So I will link the scene products down below if you guys want to check it out. Also, I have a discount code, a special code, which will be right here on the screen also, as well as the description. Everything will be down there for you guys. If you are interested, if you are looking for a new shampoo and conditioner, highly recommend scene. They also have cute little travel size shampoo and conditioner, which I love especially. So you are able to bring your products with you when you're on the go and you don't have to like get out of your routine or anything like that. So I'll have a link down below for you guys. And uh, yeah, tonight we're doing my night routine. I haven't done one of these vlogs in so long, but I just thought it'd be fun to like go in depth and show you guys a cozy winter night in my life. And it's been raining here all day, like so bad, like monsoon. <laughs> it's been awful since I woke up this morning. It's been nonstop, just like downpouring all day and I just got off my last meeting for the day. It's four o'clock and it's like dark out right now. Not that it doesn't get dark out here early to begin with, but it's been so dark all day. And I was like, you know what? It's the perfect weather to just have like a cozy, relaxing night in. So that's what we're gonna do. I kind of wish that it was colder because it would have meant that it would have snowed all day rather than rained. But it is, I think like 60 degrees. I want to say which is crazy because it's December yeah 58 degrees in December and it's just crazy I wish that it was snow I like want it to snow so bad I'm like waiting for the first snowfall guys I'm like lucky that my camera didn't just break when it dropped on the ground I'm just gonna wear this t-shirt from Elwood call it a day because I'm just gonna wear <laughs> a little black jacket and I'm like I don't whatever I really don't care what I look like I'm literally just going to the grocery store I don't really have much in the house right now I feel like there's so much that I need to go get because I hate like scrambling when it comes to wait did I take my morning supplements today I've been doing this the past couple of days. Like last night, after I had dinner, I was like, did I even take my supplements last night? And then this morning, I can't remember if I took them or not, but I don't wanna like obviously go and take them again because I think like that's obviously just like would be way too much, but I have no idea if I took them, but it's okay. Okay, so I feel like I have enough milk. I just need one for smoothies. I need to get stuff for lunch to like throw together some lunches or just like easy things to have because I don't really even have like any arugula, any greens, stuff like that. So we have to go pick that up. I need to wear my clothes. Also guys, look at the Christmas tree. I feel like I haven't vlogged since we put the tree up. 
it looks so cute i decided to do no decorations this year just because i already have so much going on with all the other decorations from table and tula and i just felt like that would be too much you know to have like ornaments and i already have like bows everywhere and all that stuff so i was like we're gonna keep it simple this year we're gonna just do lights we're wearing <laughs> the hunter boots today guys i always get so scared that i'm gonna like i put my foot in this and there's gonna be a spider i don't know why i've always been scared of that like i used to wear hunter boots all the time in high school and i would always be so scared every time i put them on that there was gonna be a spider hiding in my boot a little puffer jacket Hi guys, finally on the way to the grocery store. It's actually not even that bad out. The rain stopped, like the initial rain from the storm. And I think from now on, it is going to be a lot lighter throughout the night. And then it's going to be nice out again tomorrow. It is currently 5 o'clock. I hope the grocery store is not really crazy right now. Because I feel like sometimes on Mondays, people... Like, it's usually busy on Sunday, but especially Monday, people go after work and I'm hoping that like maybe not as many people want to go out because of the weather. So hopefully it's not that busy, but it's whatever. But anyway, oh my God, my best friend, Lily, got engaged yesterday and I'm so happy and I'm just so excited for her. And her and her boyfriend, Zach, got engaged and she's getting married and I'm so happy and I'm just, I can't even believe it. She called me. I had a missed FaceTime call from her and her sister and I was like, oh my God. And I literally started shaking and I called her back and she had the ring on and it's just so pretty and I'm so happy for her and I just love her so much and it's just crazy like this is the time i feel like i'm 27 now where a lot of your friends start getting engaged and start getting married like obviously emma's getting married next summer now my best friend lily who has been my best friend since like seventh grade is getting married and i'm just so happy for her i feel like it really makes you so emotional and made me so emotional to like reflect back on our friendship like i remember in seventh grade like going to the movies with her and like all of our other friends i don't know if you guys remember arlen my friend who also does social media he's like my friend from high school also like he was in our friend group and in seventh grade i would, would go to the movies with like lily and arlen and all of our friends and one of our friends owned a taxi company and we would just like take taxis everywhere together and it just like made me just like reflect on everything and it made me so emotional last night and i'm just so happy for her and she's so happy with her fiance and he treats her so well and i just love her so much and i'm so excited for the wedding and everything and it's gonna be so much fun like with all of our friends and also i'm really close with her family so i'm just so excited to like be together with everybody and to celebrate Lily and Zach even though they literally just got engaged yesterday I still feel like I'm just so excited actually what's really funny if you guys I feel like I don't vlog that much with like my friends from home I did vlog with Lily and Marcus we went on a trip to Cancun for spring break a few years ago and I do have that vlog up on my channel if you just search like Maggie McDonald Cancun but I feel like I don't vlog that much with my hometown friends. And it's just crazy. Like Lily's the first out of our friend group to get engaged. I'm just so excited for her. And um, yeah. Also, it's really funny because in high school we were, sorry about this lighting. It's like super red because I'm at a stoplight. But in high school, I was in a class, like a child development class, my freshman and sophomore year. And then my junior year, we have a preschool at my high school. So me and Lily were in the preschool together and you got to, literally you were the preschool teacher to all of the preschoolers that were in the school. And it was so much fun. And then senior year, if you got chosen by the teacher to move on and be in like the internship part of the class it was like a two period thing where you got to go to an elementary school like in the town where I went to high school and you got to be like a teacher's assistant and I was in a third grade class 
my senior year and Lily's mom was the teacher. So the I went to her classroom for two periods every single week and I went like three times a week I think and it was just so much fun and I feel like I literally lived at her house when I was in high school and it's just so crazy because she has siblings that are triplets and they're just like all grown up now and it's like I don't know it's so crazy I feel like I've been reminiscing so much especially now that like she's engaged I was like getting so emotional last night I was so happy for her and it just made me think of like all of the times that we've had together and it just made me so happy but okay yeah this place is packed also one thing that I did want to say which is just gonna be quick, short and sweet, is that I feel like whenever I see like any TikToks about me or something, people always like to say or like talk about me with like friendships. And whenever I look at comments on a TikTok about me or anything where someone's like saying something, people always like to say that I like can't keep a friendship and I just think that that's so funny. And I did wanna just put that out there because I do read this stuff about myself and I am not mad about it. Like obviously people can say whatever they wanna say. Like I know the truth. And it's just funny because with what I do, like I've posted my life online and sometimes I'm friends with people who also do social media who post their life. And it's like if we're together and we post that we're hanging out, everyone thinks that it's like they're your best friend in the whole world, you know? And that you don't have any like any other relationships outside of social media. But I am still, best friends with my whole entire friend group from high school I just don't post them so I feel like it's funny when people are like she can't keep a friendship when it's like I actually am still best friends with all my friends that I was friends with from before YouTube like years before and I don't know it's just really funny to me <laughs> like just because I am not friends with like two people that do social media anymore doesn't mean that I like can't keep a friendship and like don't have you know, like friendships that I've had for a really long time in my life because yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I just thought that it was funny and every single time I see it, I'm like, you guys are like actually wrong. Like I'm still best friends with Molly, B, Lily, Graydon, all my friends from Marcus from before. Just because I don't like post, actively post doesn't mean that we're not still close. But anyway, okay, gotta go in, get this done. Talk to you guys in a sec. So this is a little mini grocery haul, everything that I got at the store tonight. I'm gonna be making tomorrow night for dinner this like egg roll in a bowl recipe, which has been all over TikTok for the past few years. My dietitian always makes it, so you need coleslaw mix for it, green onion, cilantro, and ground chicken. And also I put it over rice. I'm gonna make it in tomorrow's vlog, so you guys will see in my next video. And then I got Gorillo's pickles. I love the hot dill pickle spheres. And <laughs> I just called them spheres, spears. And then I got these. These are my favorite biscuits. I was like craving them. They didn't have them last time I went there, so I got them this time. And then some good culture cottage cheese, some hummus, chicken, frozen strawberries for smoothies, and then good culture probiotic sour cream for my baked potato that I'm making tonight with my ribeye, ginger for tomorrow's dinner, bacon, garlic. I buy this type of garlic. I hate peeling garlic. It's like the worst thing ever and it always makes my fingers smell so I get this one and then I got some pitted olives avocados almond milk this is my favorite one for smoothies and then we have arugula for salads spinach I love to saute this and put them in wraps with bacon egg cheese in the morning or love to throw it in smoothies bananas some of these little mini cucumbers and some sprouts. I also got this pack of Spindrift. I love to have like a bubbly water or an Olipop or a Poppy and I got the pink lemonade. I have this little like drink thing in my fridge where I like to keep all of my drinks. I'm running low. I only have two seltzer waters left and then this I can just put over here but I have my little drink area, so I'm gonna fill that up with some Spindrift. And then also, 
I'm gonna make a bouquet because all the bouquets that I got last week from Table and Tulip, they all died. Or was it two weeks ago? A week ago. Either way, I need a new flower arrangement. And my friend Marcus is so good at making flower arrangements. He says to pick one like big flower. So I did that. And then two small flowers. And we have our two small right here. And then two different types of greenery. Or like one to two types of greenery. So I got this. And then some fresh eucalyptus for the shower. Which now that I'm thinking about it. I literally forgot to get... I really wanted to get new or more Epsom salt for the bath and I didn't get that. <laughs> and I literally was like walking down that way because I was like, okay, I have to get that and then I can go to the checkout line and I forgot, so, but it's okay. Just finished dinner and cleaned up the kitchen, but I'm getting the eucalyptus ready to go put up in the shower. Also, you guys, look what happened with my bouquet that I was gonna make. So these flowers, the lilies, couldn't fit in with all the rest of them, so I just put them in their own vase, and then I put the white and pink flowers in their own, and I put that in the front. Because these like looked so awkward, and these are gonna still bloom, which I don't know when they are, but it looked so weird because the other flowers were so much shorter and I just feel like it looked off. So this is what we're working with now. I really like this, honestly, I love this vase. This one and the one that I used in the front over there are both, both from West Elm. They're like a really thick glass and I like them a lot, but I'm getting the eucalyptus ready. It's so crazy because I can smell it so much right now. And what you're supposed to, you have to like activate your eucalyptus before you put it in your shower or else it's not going to smell like anything so i'm just kind of taking it in the bag that it's already in and like crunching the leaves because i'm pretty sure it like releases oil i don't know what it releases but it like smells so good it smells like obviously eucalyptus and this is what you're supposed to do so when it's able to make your shower smell really, really nice. the most relaxing night and I feel so good I feel ready for bed gotta do my skincare I kind of wish I did a face mask while I was in the bath but wash my hair obviously if you don't have a hair towel I highly recommend they make it so much easier like my hair dries so much better also they're very lightweight I feel like when I put a towel on my hair my head is like like it pulls and it's very uncomfortable I have been wearing one of these, like using one after a shower for the past like three or four years. Oh, what am I doing? Am I okay? I like got my morning skincare routine out, but I just love them for drying your hair. It really dries my hair so well. Skincare, Jan Marini. I'm gonna do 
like a full video i think about my skin journey in 2023 that'll probably go out at the beginning of 2024 just because i feel like that video that if i make a video i feel like that's the type of thing that i wish that i had when i was starting my journey of clearing my skin so i want to make it in case anybody needs it or is going through the same thing that i went through but anyway i feel like my camera hopefully doesn't die to go downstairs and get a new battery anyway a little bit of mo moisturizer floss you should be flossing your teeth every single night my camera died but i just brushed my teeth laneige <laughs> Lip mask, you guys know I've been obsessed with this for years, like literally years, since like 2017. And I saw a TikTok the other day and Alicia Marie took the lip mask and got like white or like clear little tubes off of Amazon and literally dug out the lip mask and put it into a tube because although Laneige sells like the tube lip balms it's not the same formula as lip mask it's like not the same at all and i'm obsessed with the mask i don't really love like the little tubes but oh my god it was such a good idea i was like i need to do that because i feel like i'm always like i love this so much and it also looks really good with lip liner like whenever i'm at home like during the day and i do my makeup instead of doing like a gloss I use my Laneige and it always like comes out so good and it lasts a really long time too and um, I just love it my <laughs> hair is so knotted I was literally like scrubbing my hair so much in the shower like just giving myself like a deep clean oh and I feel so good right now I've also switched to a comb when I've been brushing my hair after I get out of the shower and I feel like it just detangles so much better than my brushes because I have these two right here and they're just like so much harder on my hair than the comb and I feel like the comb like when I use a brush it like rips out so much more hair than when I use a comb I always have to part my hair obviously i feel like if i don't like i don't know sometimes i've let my hair dry just like all weird and it like if i don't part it it gets really weird i feel like i used to just like a few years ago like let it dry without parting it and it would come out so weird but anyway okay and then at the end kind of just go through with a brush i feel like you guys don't care i am like hot right now maybe because i just sat in the sauna for 30 minutes and then i did a little oh, bath i'm also going to clean my earrings which i feel like i don't have to do anymore but i just will do it anyway and i have my electrolytes it's super important to hydrate after the sauna or a hot bath or anything <gasps> my baby why you look so cute what are you doing my little boo boo mm, here you go my baby with his little toy before bed i always turn on my fan which i need to desperately get a new filter for it's like really bad and then i sleep with my room so cold like i'll literally put it on 63 and that's what i do i like need it to be cold or else i can't sleep and i need to have like some sort it's so weird i need to have some sort of fan going at night when i fall asleep or else I can't fall asleep. I feel like I can't do the TV. Like I can't fall asleep with the TV on. I don't know what it is. But I just can't do it. Thank God tomorrow is clean sheet night. Because Milo 
since it was so rainy today every time he goes outside like he would he comes up and he likes to lay in bed and he was getting little marks all over the bed you got little marks you guys i just took all my supplements i like hate swallowing so many pills but i have to take them right now i'm on like a supplement routine for just like a short little bit but it's because I got my hormones tested and I'm taking supplements like based on the results of that. So just to like help manage or balance my hormones, manage my cortisol levels. And I don't know, it's a lot to get into. But anyway, I'm going to end off this vlog here. I'm going to get into bed and start to unwind and all of that. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope that you guys enjoyed spending the night with me. I feel like I haven't done like a vlog where it's been like one day or one night in like a really long time. I feel like I used to do that all the time and now I feel like my videos are like over a course of a few days. So I just thought it was fun to do like a little chill night vlog and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I love you. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that and I will see you guys in my next video.